So today we are going to do chair yoga. Um, so if you would like to put on some nice soft music in the background, that's an option for you. Um, you definitely want to have a nice sturdy chair, perhaps a kitchen uh, or dining room table chair, something um, that doesn't really have much of it in the way of padding here. You don't want any arms on it. Um, and then if you have a belt or yoga strap, uh, or if you don't have a belt that you feel comfortable kind of just putting your foot around and doing things with, you can just grab a towel that will work as well. So that's what you're going to need today. Um, you can do this with your shoes on or barefoot, um, depending if you're doing this in the winter and your feet are cold or whatever, you can keep your socks on. Um, there will be some standing at the end that will be standing with the chair. That's optional. If you want to do all of this in the chair, you can just stay in the chair the whole time. Um, I do have a little bit at the end that we work a little balance and things like that. So if you do have your socks on, just be careful that you don't slip. Um, and you can do this with carpeting beneath you um, or a hardwood or tile or anything like that. All right. So just go ahead and perhaps close the door. You want to make sure this is nice and quiet. Um, there's a little bit of relaxation and everything included in this today that because that will help with your um, stretching and letting your muscles relax and everything like that. Okay. All right. So the first thing you want to do is, is you just want to get in your chair. Now you don't really want to have your back against the chair because you want to do, work your core. You want to make sure your feet are flat on the floor. And you can just put your hands perhaps on your legs or if you're more comfortable letting them dangle down, you can do that. So the first thing we're going to do is just, you can close your eyes, you can just look downward. You do not need to look at me at this point. I'll let you know when you need to be looking at the screen. But just take a few moments just to kind of relax. Maybe you've been busy earlier today or maybe you have a lot to do later today. But just take this time just to let it be for you, let it be for your body and your muscles and your mind. Just kind of restore yourself. So just go ahead and if you want to maybe focus on your breath, if that's something that relaxes you, some nice deep exhalations that sometimes can just relax. You can check in with your body, kind of do a head to toe or a feet to head assessment. Just, you know, how are your feet feeling? How are your knees today? Your ankles, your hips, how's your lower back? How's your shoulders? How's your neck? Are you holding a lot in your neck today? So just, just take a few moments just to really just kind of relax. Try not to slump in the chair, but keep your torso nice and lifted. All right. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and look at the screen. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and bring our chin down to our chest and then slowly lift your eyes up to the sky. And again, if you have neck problems, you don't need to bring your eyes all the way to the sky. Just kind of nod a big yes. Down and up, just nice and slow. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to look to your right and look to your left, again to your right, and then to your left. And then you're just going to look straight ahead and just go ahead and take your shoulders and just roll them forward. So you can take your hands off your thighs and just nice big circles to the And then when you're ready, you're going to take nice big circles to the back. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. Pull your elbows back. Good. And then we're going to take a nice deep breath. Up, reach, nice and tall. And exhale, come on down. Just up, nice big reach. Your spine is nice and tall. Bring it up. And 
do some ankle circles. So just go ahead and you can cross your legs if you want, or you, if you want to just hold your leg up, but just go ahead and make some nice circles. And you're going to go in both directions. And then you can kind of pump like you're trying to step on a gas pedal, pump it down. We're just trying to get nice mobility in our ankles. Sometimes they can get stiff and sore. All right, then you're going to go to the other side doing your circles. All right, if you have your shoes off and you want to wiggle your toes and open up the space in your toes, you can do that. And then you're going to go ahead and pump. your hands on your thighs and you're going to go ahead and you're going to round your spine and then you're going to go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Round your spine and sit up nice and tall and round that spine and sit up nice and tall. You can even use your hands and your thigh to really get yourself up nice and tall if you need to round the spine and sit up nice and tall. Very good. Next you're going to go ahead and give yourself a little bit of a twist. So you're going to twist to your right and you can use your chair to kind of bring yourself around. So you want a full unit from your tailbone all the way up. You want your head to look around to the back. So everything's in alignment and just feel that nice stretch in the spine. And then when you're ready, you're going to go ahead to the other side and go ahead and look back behind you, feeling that nice stretch. And let's go ahead back to the right. Maybe you can get a little bit more of a stretch here. As always, if you have any pain doing this, don't go as far. Just keep it a nice light twist. And then you're going to come back together. We're going to lift our hands up to the sky. So almost like you're trying to put your spine back in alignment. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to bow forward, bringing your chest down to your thighs. And then look up to the sky. Nice big deep breath here and come back down. If doing this is too much for your shoulders, you can just keep your hands across here and just bend over like that. All right. Good. Next, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a side bend. So you're going to take your left hand down here. If you need to hold on to the chair to help you, you can, but you're just going to hinge over. And then you're going to come back to center and then over to the other side. And bring it up. Let's go ahead again, just like we did with the spinal twist. Perhaps you can get a little deeper in that side bend. Come back and to the other side. Good. Now you're going to go ahead and take your arm across your chest. So you want to be kind of stretching out your shoulder a little bit. So you don't want your arm way up here. You want to keep it down nice and low, almost like a diagonal line coming across. And then we'll do the other side. Try to keep your shoulder down. You don't want it way up by your ear. Just keep it nice and relaxed. And then you can come across. If you want to keep your elbow bent, you can do that. Maybe that feels a little different. Maybe it feels better. Maybe it doesn't feel quite as much of a stretch. Always listen to your body when you're doing yoga. It's supposed to be nice and relaxing. All right, so now we're going to just bring
create a little bit of movement. So you're gonna be at the edge of your chair and you're just gonna bring your arms up and you're gonna hinge forward. As you hinge, you're making like a big circle with your hands and bringing your chest down. And nice, big reach up, big arms. Bring it up and down. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up our chest, bring it out and in, out and in, out and in. Next, you're going to have like you're hugging a big beach ball, so your elbows are bent and we're going to bring it up and bring it down, bring it up to the sky and back down. Bring it up and down. Still hugging your beach ball. Go ahead and move to the right a little bit. Not as deep as we did before with our spinal twist, but just bring it around. Let's go back to the right and center and then over to the left. Let's bring it up to the sky again. And this time come all the way down. And all the way up. And then go ahead and bring it down. You can go ahead and grab the back of your chair. And what I want you to do here is as you're grabbing the back of the chair, give yourself a little bit of a chest opener and a little baby back bend. Again, if this doesn't feel comfortable, you don't need to really stretch it back. You could just kind of bring your shoulder blades together, but if you can add a little bit of a back bend and you can just kind of gently lift your chin up, you don't want to drop your head way back, but just kind of gently look. I tell people to look where the ceiling and the wall meet each other. So it's not like you're looking way above you, but you're just kind of looking with your chin up just a little bit. Should feel good because we're hunched over a lot during the day whether you know it or not so this just really opens things up all right next you're going to go ahead and you're going to bring your chest down to your thighs again but I want you to bring your arms straight out you should be looking at your toes right now so once you know what the move is you don't need to look at me so just go ahead and then you can go ahead and reach your arms back towards the back of that chair and then back out to your airplane and then back out behind you. And then go ahead and bring your hands down towards your feet or the floor, wherever you, is available to you. Just don't have your hands dangling. And then I just want you to just lift your chin up just a little bit not enough to be looking at the computer screen, but just so you're looking like three feet in front of you. And then go ahead and look at your toes and look out in front a little bit and look at your toes. And now we're slowly, almost like vertebrae by vertebrae, go ahead and bring yourself back up to a seated position. All right, and we're gonna stop here. This is called mountain pose. So this is kind of like our beginner pose. Remember we did this at the beginning where we're kind of relaxing and checking in. So what I want you to do now is go ahead and check in with yourself again. How are you doing? Are things starting to loosen up? Are you feeling a little better? Is there something else that you need to stretch? Maybe you're like, oh, I started doing that side bend, but oh, you just take a moment here. If there's something else, maybe you need to move your shoulder a little bit, maybe you need to tip your head, just kind of get yourself comfortable, maybe you need to wiggle in the chair a little bit, but just take a moment here before we move on. All right, okay, the first, next we're going to do a seated warrior one. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your right leg out to the side, so you're going to have kind of like a, a 
kind of an L with your leg. So the right leg is going to be pointed is, is out from the side and the other one's pointed straight towards the screen. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your chest and you're going to line it up with that right leg. So that, that leg that's going out to the side, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to lift it up. If it feels better for you to maybe bring this knee down, you can do that. Or if you feel more stable like this, you can do that. But you don't want your, your chest towards the screen. You want it towards that right leg. All right? So whatever, whether you have your knee up or down, and you're just going to bring it up. And then we're going to bring it down. And bring it up. And down, and up, and down. Next, we're going to have goalpost arms. So they're going to be like this, but they're still facing towards that right leg. And you're just going to go ahead and pull your shoulder blades together a little bit. Pull it back. Pull it back. Good. And then up to the sky and bring it down. Reach up to the sky, and then back down. And one more time. Up, and back down. Good. Now you're gonna go ahead and come back to center, and go ahead and turn the other direction. So now your left leg is on the side of the chair. Your right leg is pointed towards your laptop or TV or computer, however you're watching this. Okay, and you're going to turn your torso towards that left leg again. Again, you can keep your leg here, or if you want to drop that knee, you can do that as well. But we're going to reach up to the sky, and then back down. And bring it up, and down. And up, and down. Let's take ourselves into those goal post arms again. Go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blades together and reach up and pull down and reach up and pull down and one more time up and down all right come back to center so now we're going to move into warrior two so again we're going to have those little l legs like we had before so your right leg is on the side Left is pointed straight forward. But now, instead of having your torso towards that leg, you're going to turn towards the screen. So this is warrior two pose. So then you're going to go ahead and bring your arms out like this. All right? And you're going to take your eyes and look at your right hand. So hold that out. Now, you don't want to be way up here or way down. You want to adjust the shoulder height. Nice and strong warrior pose. Look over those fingertips. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip that right hand palm. You're going to reach forward a little bit and then reach up to the sky. This is called Exalted Warrior. So you should feel a nice big pull in that right side. And then you're going to go ahead and put your forearm on that right thigh. And then take the left arm and reach it up and over. So now you have a big stretch on the left, okay? Again, if your shoulders, if you need to bend your arms, kind of put your hand on your head, but you just really want to feel a nice big stretch. So let's go ahead and exalt our warrior up, right hand up to the sky. And if you can look at your right hand, if your neck lets you do that, that'd be good. If not, you just look straight ahead. And then go ahead and take yourself back into that side angle. Good job. And then let's bring ourselves back out to our warrior two. Look at our right hand. And bring your arms down. You can shake them out if you need to. We're coming back around the other direction. So again, now the left leg is, is moving out there. And then the right leg is towards the screen. Again, if this feels better to bring it down, you can do that. But you need to take your and have your chest pointed towards the computer, okay? And then you're going to bring it out for your warrior two. And you're going to look over your left fingers. 
and you're gonna flip your palm. You're gonna reach forward and exalt up. So your left arm is up to the sky. And then you're gonna take your left forearm, put it on your thigh, and then bring it over here like that. And so you're gonna bring it up, left hand up to the sky. Look at your left hand if that's available. And then the left forearm on your left thigh, reach your right arm up overhead, trying to bring your bicep by your ear if you can. You can always bend your elbow if you need to, but you want to feel a nice right sided stretch. And go ahead and bring it back down and let's bring our legs together and let's give ourselves a forward fold. So we'll kind of bring everything back together and bow forward and you can just let your your chest rest on your thighs your hands can be on the floor good and then sit up nice and tall next we're going to do a little bit of abdominal work so i want you to bring your right knee to your chest now be careful you don't sink back in your chair you want to sit up nice and tall so you're just going to kind of do some nice marches here so you're using those abdominal muscles as you lift up your knees. And you're working your hips a little bit here too. You can certainly be holding on to the chair because you want to keep that back nice and tall. And if you can only get your knees up just a little bit, that's okay. I'd rather have you do that than get all down and like that. Okay, so you want to sit up nice and tall and just bring those legs up. Good. Now the next one, depending on how your hips are, you may not be able to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our left, our right ankle on our thigh for our pigeon. But if this is too much for your hip, you just keep it down here and just try to bring your knee out a little bit. So whatever is available, so you can bring it straight across like this, or you can just keep it down low, but you wanna to try to take and pivot your knee out. So you can even just keep it down here and just be here and just drop that right knee out, okay? And use that exhalation to just really try to open up that hip. Again, still seated nice and tall. Good job, and then go ahead, bring that foot down, and then the other side. So you probably will notice that one side is more flexible than the other, that's just the way your body works. Everybody has one side that moves a little more efficiently than the other. Still seated up nice and tall, use that exhalation to just really open up that hip. Nice deep breaths here. Try to be relaxed. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring both feet together. Let's give ourselves another forward fold, a nice big reach up to the sky and all the way down. Good. All right. So I'm going to stand up now. If you don't want to stand up, you can stay in your seat because we're going to be doing a lot of things that we've already done in the chair. So you can like, we're going to be moving side to side, things like that. You can stay in this chair if you want, or if you'd like to join me standing up, depending on how you're feeling today. All right. So we're going to stand up and we're just going to get ourselves in that mountain pose. So remember when we were seated, we just kind of sat there. So remember we kind of settled our bottoms into the chair. Now we want our feet flat on the floor and you can maybe rock a little bit. The chair is right here if you need it or you can have yourself by a wall if you need that. But just kind of feel yourself standing up nice and tall. So, you know, sometimes we get kind of hunched over. Just take a moment and just make sure you're nice and tall. Your palms can be facing out. You can have one hand on the chair and the other facing out. So just Take a moment, feel yourself be nice and tall like a mountain. That's how they got, they named it mountain, very strong, sturdy pose. Okay? All right, so next we're gonna move into our lateral flexion or our side bends. 
So you can take your right hand up to the sky. You can still have your hand on that chair and take it up and over. And if you're still seated in the chair, you can do another side bend here too. All right, bring it back down. If you need to walk over the other side of your chair, you can do that. Or you can just stay behind your chair and do your side bend like that. Whatever is comfortable. You want to feel comfortable in these poses because they'll allow you to be more flexible and bend more. If you're worried about falling, then you're not going to get as deep into your stretches. Okay. And let's go ahead, just like we did before. We'll do it twice. Maybe you can get a little deeper in that side bend. And then go to the other side. Next, we want to do a little chest expansion. So you're going to go ahead and grab your hands behind you. And if you want to still do this in the chair, you can do that. But just go ahead and take, and take your shoulder blades and squeeze them together. Really open up that chest. And then release and kind of shake them out a little bit. Next, we're going to do chair pose. So we're going to be bending our knees almost like we're, we're going to sit down in the chair. So if you have cranky knees and this bothers you to do this, first of all, try to adjust your foot position. Maybe toeing out makes you feel better. Maybe toeing in makes you feel better. All right? But whatever, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to just kind of sit down like this and then you're going to stand back up. So just bring your bottom out like you're trying to find the seat of the chair. Now if you're already seated, you can use this time to lift your arms up while you're just seated in the chair. If you want to try to bring your arms up and not hold onto the chair, you can do that. And we're going to do that one more time. Good. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and do our warrior one. My recommendation is to do it behind the chair like this so that you have this here ready for you. I'm going to take the chair away so you can see what my legs are doing. But you keep, keep yourself behind the chair so that's available to you. So you're just going to bend that front knee like that. The back foot's behind you. It's at a little bit of an angle so it's not pointed straight towards the screen. It's out a little bit gives you better support and just bend that front knee. And if you feel confident enough to bring an arm up, one arm up, both arms up, you can do that. The front knee is bent and we just hold that for a moment. If you're more comfortable having your hands in your hips or if you want to feel that nice big stretch, you can do that too. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So now the left foot's gonna be in the front and that right foot's in the back with a little bit of an angle. Again, if you're still in the chair, you can do those warrior ones like we did before. Good. So this is great for balance. You can feel yourself stretching. You should feel a nice stretch in your calf, in your lower leg, in the back. Good. Now we're going to move into a warrior two. So take your right foot and you're going to point it this way. And then the back. And now you're going to go ahead and take your hips and have them pointed towards the screen here. You're kind of perpendicular to your chair. And if you feel confident enough to bring your hands out, or maybe you want to keep one on here. And if you want to take your gaze to that right hand, you can do that. And then go ahead and we'll exalt our warrior up like we did before. And then if you want, you can bring your forearm here and bring it up and over. 
If that doesn't feel sturdy to you and you want to keep your hand under your chair, you can. You just want to feel a nice stretch in the side. So you don't have to be, have your arm up, you can still have it on the chair. Good. And then bring it back up. And then we're going to go ahead to the other side. So your, your hips are pointed towards me. And you'll be out and you can bring your arms out. You can take your gaze here. If you're by a wall, you can even put your hand on the wall. Or if you feel com more comfortable keeping that one on the chair, you can do that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll raise it up to the sky. Again, if you need to have that chair, you have that right there for you and bring it up. And then you can bring it down like that. You can try to bring that up and over or if you want to keep your, that on the chair, just feel that nice stretch there. Good, and then bring ourselves back up. And we're gonna bring ourselves back into our mountain pose. So just take a moment here and kind of make sure you're feeling nice and strong. So next we're gonna do a one-legged balance. And again, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, but if you have the chair, you can certainly, or your wall or whatever, but we're gonna do a little baby tree here. So you're gonna go ahead and just you can have your toes here. If you really want to try to get your foot off the floor, you can do that. Just make sure that you don't jam anything against the side of that knee. So you can just kind of hang out here. And if you want to bring a hand up, if you want to bring both hands up, you can do that. If you just want to kind of be here and then just kind of go no hands and keep it here. Some people like to keep their hands together right in the middle of the body, that helps with your balance as well. Good. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and try it on the other side. And again, there may be one side that is much more stable than the other. That's okay. So remember, you can just kind of hover here. You can bring one hand up and the other down. You can bring both hands up. You can keep your hands here. Whatever works for you. And you might teeter-totter a little bit. That's good. That's activating all those little muscles. It's all good. All right. Let's go ahead and bring that down and kind of get our balance here. Good. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit more spine movement. So we're doing our cat and cow. Remember we did that when we were on a chair? If you want to sit down and do it again, but if you'd like to try something different, you're going to go ahead and put your hands on the chair and you're going to round and kind of look at your kneecaps and then you're going to switch and look at the back of your chair. So you round your spine and then you straighten it out. You can have a little bend in those knees if you have really tight hamstrings. You shouldn't feel a big pull. So you're going to round it and then straighten things out. So a nice tabletop back. And try not to be looking at the screen. So once you see what I'm doing, so I'm rounding my spine and then I'm straightening it out. But you don't want to be looking this way because that's not good for your back. Or the other thing you can do if it makes you feel better, you can kind of turn it this way so you're, you're able to look at the screen. But just kind of move through that cat and cow. So just round it. And you can even bring your hips side to side. Sometimes that feels really nice. So let's bring ourselves back up to standing, and we're going to all sit down. So if you've been seated this whole time, that's great. You're going to just be where you are. So this is the part where you grab your towel or your belt, and we're going to just do some a little bit more stretching for your legs. So you're just going to go ahead and take this, and you're going to put it around your the bottom of your foot. Let me scoot back a little bit so you can see my feet. All right, so you're going to
going to be here. Yeah, you can just keep your heel on the floor and just bow forward like that. Or if you want to bring your foot up, you can do that and bow forward. But the idea is we're stretching the back of the leg. So if you feel a better stretch like this, or you just want to bow down, you can do that. Just make sure that you don't um, turn your torso. So if you're really tight in through the hips and you start to go down, your body's going to go whoop, just to kind of bring more space. So just go down as far as you can keep your hips square. Take our time with this. You're going to use exhalation to open up that space. And again, if you just have a towel, you can just bring that towel around the bottom of your foot too and just bring it down like that. Just be careful you're not rounding those shoulders. You want to just kind of hang out. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. So again, just bow forward. And if you don't have a strap or anything, you can just still just keep your heel on the floor and just bow down. You'll probably still feel that stretch in the back even without using the strap or the towel. Sometimes we do this in places, or maybe you forgot to bring it today. You know, all those different things can happen. So, and you can bring it up if you'd like, and hinge forward. Yes, I'm giving you some time with this, okay? Because that it takes time to get those muscles to stretch out. And certainly if you need more time to do this, you can pause the video or you can, after we're all done, you can go back if that feels really good to the back of your legs. All right, okay, so we're back in our chair. We're, we're seated up nice and tall. We're back in our mountain. So just take a few moments just to kind of check in with yourself. How are you feeling now? How's your neck? How's your shoulders? How's your lower back? How's your hips? How's the back of those thighs? Your knees? Your ankles? Even your feet? How are things feeling? And give yourself a nice deep breath in through the nose and whew, out through the mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose and whew, out through the mouth. You can even make a little, oh, like a heavy sigh. All right. So just take a moment and just sit here. Maybe you have some pretty music on in the background. I'm just going to be quiet just for maybe 45 seconds. So just take a moment and just keep yourself here, present in the room. Maybe you're doing another body scan. Maybe you're taking yourself to some lovely tropical island or up on a ski chalet or something. But try not to think about your grocery list later, right? So just stay here present. A lot of times if you think about your body parts, like how's my knee, how's that, your mind won't wander, okay? So shh. probably should have told you you could have closed your eyes during that rather than staring blankly into space. 
but you'll know for next time that it's time to close your eyes and just be quiet. All right, so your feet are resting. Just one more nice big deep breath up and down. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bring it up, bring your hands to heart center. And we will say namaste and yoga. So have a great day, thank you so much. Always remember to stretch, it's as important as your balance and your cardio and your strength. So all the different components are all good for you and your health and tell a friend. All right, take care, have a great day. Bye-bye.